In this video, I want to go through how to solve a classic problem in finance, which in involves finding the rate. So imagine your friend has, says, hey, I've got this great business idea. I'll double your money in three years. Essentially, what rate are you being given? The key to this problem is setting it up correctly, as so many things are in mathematics. And the detail that you need to know is what is the compounding period? So again, in this example, you're starting with $2,000. You're going to go to 4000 and we're going to run it two scenarios, one with monthly compounding and one with continuous compounding. Be sure to watch the whole video here because there's several lessons really tied into one thing. So the first thing we need to start with, uh, let's just start with the monthly compounding. And you'll recognize this from the exponential growth um, formula where you're saying, hey, your future value is the initial value times the quantity 1 plus the rate divided by the compounding periods raised to the nt, the number of periods times the time. So the second step is basically substituting everything you know. So 4,000 future value, 2,000 present value, 1 plus r divided by 12 for monthly, raised to the 12 times 3. I'll go ahead and simplify that, and I've got the power ends up being to the 36, 12 times 3. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 2,000, and you see 2. There it is doubling. That is your shortcut going forward. Anytime you see something doubling, what you're really saying is 1 to 2, from 1 to double it 2. Okay, now, how do we solve this part of the problem? Well, if something is raised to the 36th power, this doesn't involve a log or a natural log, but it means taking the 36th root of both sides of the equation, which is what I'm doing here. So on my calculator, let's just go ahead and do this, clear, I'm going to take uh, 2 caret to the power, and I'm, I like parentheses, I'm a parentheses kind of guy, 1 divided by 36, it just helps keep things really clean, and boom, you can see 1.0194, and again, this number is irrational, it goes on for a really, really long time, if not forever. Now that I have that value, I've just put in this value here as kind of a placeholder so I could write something down, that number equals 1 plus r over 12. Again, I've eliminated the exponent on the right-hand side. Now I'm two steps away from solving this equation. I subtract 1 from both sides of the equation, and then I multiply both sides of the equation by 12. So you've got a uh, 0.23329 equals r. It says round um, to the nearest hundredth of a percent. So this actually is not a percent. This is the rate in decimal form. So if you have a percent, basically, if you're entering this into a, a formula or, or a something, canvas or whatever, uh, you have to multiply it by 100 to figure out the rate in percent format. So 100 times 0.23329 gives you 23.34%. And in canvas, you would just enter 23.34. Uh, that's... Uh, that's awful. 23.33. Let's try that again. 0.33. That'd be correct. Notice here, I didn't use a log or a natural log to solve this problem. However, if in fact I was looking for the time, I knew the rate was 23%, and I wanted to figure out how long I'd have to invest it, that's where you would use a log or a natural log to bring that um, the exponent in front of the equation because you could simplify everything inside the parentheses. You'll actually see that in this example when I work on solving the continuous compounding. So here in continuous compounding you're using PERT principle e to the rt. Again 4000 equals 2000 e to the uh, rate. I don't know what it is. Time is 3. Again, divide both sides by 2,000. There's the 2. There's the big doubling again. 2 equals e to the 3r. Take the natural log of both sides. Aha! Now this looks familiar to with what we're doing right now. Notice again, the power comes out front. So when your variable is the power and you don't know it, that's how you take the power back and put it in front of the equation so you have something to work with. Natural log of e, of course, is 1. So that essentially eliminates it, which makes our job really, really easy. Um, natural log of 2, I can just do that on my calculator here, ln2, enter, there it is. 
Um, now I need to divide both sides by 3, and I get a rate of 23.105 um, after I multiply it by 100. And again, I can just round that up to 23.11%. Hope that was helpful. Hope it wasn't too long or too confusing. Please contact me if you have any questions.